Hey guys, Dr. Chernoff here, and welcome back to Statistics for the New Social Scientist. In this video, we're going to talk about making big, bold claims about population proportions using SPSS. So a lot of times in life, we want to make bold claims about what's going on in the population. We want to talk about the proportion of people who will have some belief or some attitude. Now, we can do that using sample data. We can take a sample of data, and we can calculate a single proportion. But how good is that proportion, really, at capturing what the true proportion is for everybody? So instead of just using one estimate, what we're going to do is we're going to use a range of estimates. So in this video, we're going to talk about calculating a 95% confidence interval for population proportion, a range of values that are more likely to capture the true population proportion. So let's get to it. Okay, guys. So as you can see here, I've got SPSS fired up and ready to go. So all we need to do is click on Analyze, and then we go down to Non-Parametric Tests, and then we click on One Sample. Now there are a lot of default options that are set and most of them are going to be fine. But one of the options we need to change is which variable we're going to analyze. So by default, SPSS is set up to calculate 95% confidence intervals for all of our variables, which is wrong. So what we want to do is make sure that SPSS only focuses on the one variable we actually care about. So to do that, what we do is we click on one of these variables in this test fields area, pull down the key control, and then press the key A, and that selects everything. And then we hit this left facing arrow. So basically what we're doing is we're deselecting all of the variables. Now what we do is we find the variable we care about. So maybe we're interested in the proportion of people who identify as female on campus. So in order to do that, we just scroll down to the variable we care about. So here it's a uh, gender identity. And then we click on this right facing arrow. Okay, so after we've selected our variable, we then click on the Settings tab, and then we check this radio button next to the word Customize Tests. And then we check the box next to Compare Observed Binary Probability to Hypothesized Binomial Test. Click on the Options button, and here we set this hypothesized proportion to 0.5. We then click the Clopper Pearson Exact, and then we check the radio button next to Specify Success Values. So then we enter in the value of the category that we really care about. So here in the Sphere of Crime database, I know the value 1 corresponds to, to female. So I'm going to enter in a 1. And then I click OK. Now there are some other options you can explore. So if you click on Test Options, you can change your confidence interval level. So here I'm just going to go with the default of 95%. And then I can click Run. Okay, so SPSS is going to give us all kinds of output, but we really don't need all of it. So instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on this confidence interval summary table. So this table is going to show us the parameter that we selected. So the variable in this case is what is your gender identity equal one. So that's saying that we're focusing on the proportion of people who identify as female. We also get a point estimate. So here are the proportion of people in our sample that identified as female equals 0.667. And then we get a 95% confidence interval for the true population proportion of people in the population who identify as female. In this case, it's as low as 0.529 and as large as 0.786. Okay, guys, so that's the video. So in this video, we talked about how you can use SPSS to calculate a 95% confidence interval for a population proportion, how we can use sample data to make bold claims about what's going on within a population and how we can do a better job of doing this by using a range of values instead of just a single proportion. So if you guys have any comments, feel free to leave them below. And remember, the rest of the assignment is now up to you.